spend the money to watch the two best guys in boxing fight. So just in general, you know what I'm saying? You can never be upset about paying people. Is this what you got to do now? Are we going to see you in the media kind of more? They're kind of getting your voice out there, getting your name out there, kind of demanding yeah, yeah. these these fights uh, and, and getting the, the fans fan backing. Yeah, definitely, man. Close mouth, don't get fed. You know, I sat back for um, from time to time and you know watch the developments going on with these fighters. You sit back, like, yeah, everybody's kind of like forgetting about the real deal. You know what I'm saying? The the, the, the man. Like, I've been fighting since I was six years old. I told myself I was gonna go to the Olympics, made it. I told myself I was gonna be world champion, did that. I told myself I'm gonna be the best and fight the best. I can't do that because these guys don't want to fight me. And the only excuse is that I'm either inactive or it ain't worth the reward. Listen, the money's gonna be there. People know Demetrius Andre. My skill set, my skill set talks for itself. And I'm just ready to get in there and show the world and myself to prove I'm the best. That's it. It's just that simple. If everybody can beat me, why not hurry up and beat me and go home and say, yeah, I beat the best guy? Like, think about the hospital. I, um, I, I thought Hopkins, man, from, for him was like win, lose, draw, this is, I'm going out, fighting, that's it, you know what I'm saying, he gave it the best he can, you know, it's sad to see, you know, it wasn't sad, but it's part of boxing, man, like, you know, he got knocked out the ring, that's the kind of, you know, I hope he's okay, he's not feeling pretty hurt, um, with his brain or anything like that. But um, it's boxing, man. He did what he wanted to do. He wanted to fight. He financially didn't have to go out there and, 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 and fight to, you know, pay some bills. He did it because he wanted to get it. And that's, that's, that's the beauty of that. Leading up to the knockout, did you think the fight was I wasn't looking at the fight as who was winning around. I was more looking at the fight like, slip, but not, oh, shit, duck, oh, woo, woo. Right, he got that, he got past that round. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I was looking at the round, so. You know, I mean, like I said, win, lose, and draw, I just wanted to make sure somebody like that, it was safe. What do you like about it? Like all time? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, you know, as far as, like, staying in the game for long Jeffy being world champion in different weight classes, and they the best, like, today. Like, like I'm speaking today, like, he's 50 years old fighting the guy's young, you know, I can't get a fight. Like, how's that, like, yeah, bro, like, oh, you want to fight Bernardi? Then do what? Yeah, me. Ubu, how does it feel to talk so many cameras? Um, it's an inch. I mean, it, you know, it feels good to, you know, let, uh, having anybody hear what I have to say. And it's nothing but the truth. And the uh, voice of my opinion is great because boxing needs something like this. You know, I, I'm an I'm a underrated top dog. Like, how does that make sense? And it's great to be number one in the WBC, WBO, WBA, and um, just, you know, taking one step at a time right now. Like I said, I could be one of them guys that goes around the world, right, and fight internationally guys that's low level. That doesn't make me the best. I want to be the best, and I don't want to fight unless I'm fighting the top guys who you guys say you're, you're, you're the best. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to fight, you know. No name, pretty much. Okay, that's not boxing for me. What are your terms for a Charlo fight? My chances? No, your terms. My terms? That I am a clean boxer. And I don't, from here on out, I'm God given talent. And somebody said, one of them talents said I'm broke, but I'm going to make sure I pay that you get tested and everybody else that I fight from here on out. Because Earlier, who, who got caught for drugs? The Red You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trying to be in that line because I'm clean, man. I don't need that stuff, man. May the best man win and we all be on um, equal playing field. And he still fought. What do you think about that? He got caught and still fought. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mess, man. It's not, it's not fair to somebody like me that's clean. You know? But um, speaking about the Chano brothers, I'm ready to fight him whenever. You know, let, let's, let me get something out there real quick because they keep referring like, oh, I was gonna, I, I was gonna fight Demetrius back, whatever he pulled out, right? I, I couldn't speak on it. Now I can. The whole Rock Nation thing. You know what I'm saying? Like now his excuse is, oh, I pulled out. No, the Rock Nation thing came through. That kind of broke out. Now it's out there that we're going to the courtroom. January, I signed a paper to fight you. Once that thing got handled out the way, did you get the paper? No, you went back and forth. Ron is my Rosie. Not to be Shoes Andre, Ron is my Rosie. So who really pulled out when it really came down to it? But yo, Demetrius Andre, Google that name, find all my social media, and um, I appreciate everybody that support boxing and every box out there. Stay clean, do what you gotta do, work hard, and let's make great fights happen, not this um, 
Cotto and Cutlin and Kel Brook and Triple G and Americana and Canelo. That's not boxing, man. Lara Foreman. Yeah, oh yeah, Lara, yo, you're for me. Like, what is that? You guys are like, yeah, no. But let Demetrius call them out. You guys hate me. Come on, man. <laughs>